We are Sharon and Joe. Welcome to our adventures. We are full-time RVers from New Jersey and are currently exploring the West Coast. In this series, we will be experiencing the Christmas season from Vancouver to California. We will also be sharing some of our Christmas traditions and making some new ones along the way. We hope you can join us on a quest to see everything the West Coast has to offer this time of year. We will return to our regular content in January. We are officially in California. We're so excited. You excited? We're in California, baby. I don't understand why there's so many elk here, but this is like a campground and there's elk like even by the front door of somebody's camper. Oh my God. I guess they kind of live here, I'm not really sure. Anyway, we're at one of the drive through uh, trees that you could drive through and our truck is too big, so we cannot drive through it. And the other one that we probably could drive through is an hour further than where we are. And we didn't want to just make an hour drive just to do that. So we're just going to walk through it. We're going to drone through it. We're going to fly through it. We're going to fly through it. We're going to, we're going to fly through it. Wow, look how it's like split. It's got a hole. Shrine, it's called. If you guys know me already, you know that I'm a big kid and I have to play on everything that I'm allowed to play on. It's a pretty cool tree house. She climbed up to the top of the tree house. Yay. I'm in the tree house. And there's all these views out the window. It's cute. And it's got hearts. And there's Joe. Hi. So we are currently in the Redwoods. We were on the north part of the Redwoods the other day and now we are on the south part of the Redwoods. And we just did Avenue of the Giants and it was amazing. Beautiful. And we just thought this was a good way to celebrate Christmas. How? What better way to celebrate Christmas in the forest of a million trees? <laughs> And we're also going to go see the biggest Christmas tree in America. In America, guys. And it, we're going to get to see it lit up like it, a Christmas tree. It's going to be cool. <laughs> lit up like a Christmas tree. Kind of like we are right now. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, we're going to go on a hike and we'll bring you with us. Stick around. The ranger was telling us that this Bull Creek part of the park has some of the oldest growth redwoods, and they are massive.
When the tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? I bet this one surely did. That's where they got it from, uprooted. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. So we just got done the hike. Uh, we took the... Rockefeller. Yeah, and it was really easy, simple, no elevation whatsoever. I actually can't believe we're already back to the truck. The Rockefeller Trail is about, I'd say about a mile round trip. Yeah. Simple hike, flat, no elevation. But cool. you see these awesome trees and they are awesome. And you see a lot of shamrocks too. So guess if you want to come for St. Patrick's Day, you could also enjoy St. Patrick's Day here. <laughs> anyway, we are going to show you more. See you there. So we are currently camping at a casino. This is our first casino that we have ever camped at. It's called The Heights. And I'm just gonna show you the rules. So we're parked here. The beach is actually right there. It's so foggy that you can't actually see it. And they even have water if you want it water. We already filled up, so we don't need water, but you could stay here for three nights for $20. You just have to make sure you give them cash because we didn't have cash. So we had, a, we had a tap mac and does anybody still say tap mac? We do. <laughs> anyway, we had to get the AT, go to the ATM to get money out. So it ended up costing us $24, but they give you game cards um, that you could use two nights. So $10 each night. So both of us got it. So basically we could gamble for free. So I think it's a pretty good deal. This is their rules. Not really strict rules, so. They even tell you where to go to dump. But, and we are staying here for three nights. It is by the Redwoods, so you could literally get to the Redwoods in a very short period of time. And it's actually a really freaking cool place to camp. So we'll let you know how we feel at the end of it. I don't know, that loud noise down there might annoy me, but we'll be okay. Anyway, it's pretty cool. And we're gonna go check out the casino and use our free $10 each card. So we're just walking back. Oh, it's so decorated back there, it's cute. We're walking back from the casino now. We paid $20 to stay here for three nights and we are up 20. So basically, we're staying for free, and we got an extra $20. Yeah, we got paid to stay at the <laughs> casino. We were gonna go in the bar and use it, but they have a private event today. But honestly, we couldn't gamble much more because we can't handle the smoke. Yeah, and I'm not being judgmental to anybody that smokes. We used to smoke, but I have lung issues, and it was hard for me to be in there today. So we had to kind of, you heard of me, we had to check out, we had to close out early, mm -hmm. but we both won. Yeah, we both won. And so that was cool. We got $10 free each and we walked out of there with $40. So Repeat that. Yep. Anyway, we're going back to have a chill night at home. I'm not even a big fan of mango, but it's just really good. It just has really good taste to it awesome lemon drop well mango lemon drop <laughs> tasty and it was only seven dollars that's pretty good good deal for a lemon drop you get chicken pesto look at that Chicken is moist and tender. Pesto sauce, super good. I'm a fan. Is it really good? Mm -hmm. So we are currently in Ferndale and we just 
we're walking to go look at the neighborhood and we're going to the tree lighting ceremony and we saw this little garden so we thought we'd stop in it's really cute just taking a stroll might as well yep anyway we'll show you Christmas is coming, the snowflakes will be falling, it's the most wonderful time of year. So hang up your stockings, put the tinsel on the tree, because Christmas is coming, my dear. It's the only time of year the reindeer fly. You can't see them on the sleigh ride across the sky. Gather all your family round, or go out and paint the town. It's the only time of year the whole wide world turns upside down. So baby, light a fire, and we'll toast the night away. Because Christmas is coming our way. Hello adventurers, we are here in Ferndale, California for the lighting of the United States' tallest Christmas tree. This has been decorated since 1888 by the local fire department. And I am personally just in love with the downtown. It's got all historic old buildings and they go all out for Christmas, so it's such an amazing event. Definitely, if you're in the area, check it out or put this on your list because this is a good one. At the twilight's last gleaming, whose bright stripes and bright stars. Merry Christmas, friends of Ferndale and friends of Christmas. I had to come from the North Pole to see this wonderful, largest in America Christmas tree get lit. <laughs> So we actually, we just got done the lighting and what did you think? Ferndale, California, you really know how to celebrate the Christmas season. We loved it. We loved the downtown with the, all the historical buildings and all the Christmas trees were decorated by the kids at the high school, the elementary school, the middle school. It was such a nice touch to it and the ceremony was just awesome. It was ran by kids, the 4-H club. Singing. They did a good job. And it should be on a Hallmark movie. I just want to point that out. This could be a Hallmark movie kind of place. Definitely. I felt like I was in a Hallmark movie, so it was pretty amazing to me. We loved it. And I'm kind of surprised, I have to say. I know I'm a little biased, but I cannot believe that we got this small little old town feel in California. So it was a really exciting day for us and we really loved it. The Redwoods were awesome. Everything we did was so amazing. So This is why we travel, to find new things, get new experiences, and so far, it's amazing. Yep. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you on the next Christmas event. See you there. We had an amazing time visiting the largest Christmas tree amongst the beautiful Redwood Forest. 
Join us next week as we visit California's wine country at Christmas time. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below. See you next time.